everybody, it's Brandon from Magicland Vacations, the travel planning genies. Genie in the bottle. Excuse me about that. Uh, excited to be here for a quick Facebook Live. Unannounced. Surprise. We're live on Facebook. Unannounced. And I want to talk to everyone out there. I've been getting asked the same question over and over and over and over and over and over again which is when is disney and universal reopening and when is a safe time to plan a vacation right now and yeah so we're going to talk about those two big questions Woo, a lot is going on in the travel business hello dustin we're so happy that you are here tonight first before i get started I have to share something really cool with everybody out there for the people watching now and the people that are going to be watching the replay. So for my birthday, my birthday was in January, the end of January. Uh, my mom got me this really neat Goofy statue. Everybody knows that Goofy is my favorite Disney character. And so I got this amazing statue, um, Brito statue, and he sits on my desk and... I love him so much. I love Goofy. Um, who else is joining us? Why can I not see? I see three people. Uh, three other people are joining us. Anyway, um, comment below and let me know if you guys have any questions as I talk about this stuff. So the magic question is, when is Disney and when is Universal reopening? Everybody wants to know that. So we are going to dissect this a couple of different ways. I do not have a magic crystal ball, but I do I do have a very good estimation based on what Disney is doing and the signs that they are sending, as well as some other crazy new developments recently. So first of all, the official statement from Disney and Universal is that they are closed through March. That is the that's the official statement. We are closed through March because of the the core, I can't even say this. I always get in trouble for this. I always want to say Cornera virus. I know that is not the way you say it. It's supposed to be coronavirus, but I always say Cornera virus. Um, but the official statement is, is that they're closed through March. Now, here are some hints that lead me to believe that they are hoping that both Disney and Universal are going to reopen by around april the 17th that is that is my best guess of when they're hoping to reopen and i'm going to talk about that first of all disney sent all of their college program cast members home now that was in lines with the cdc that said all colleges should send their their dormitory students home as a safety precaution for the social distancing now the college students program it wasn't going to set to end until may so from that hint you're thinking okay so they're thinking maybe sometime in may that they're going to reopen so why did i say april 17th 19th here's why disneyland just released a new resort discount on the rooms at the disneyland resort with travel dates starting in august then on august the 19th so the fact that the travel dates for that new package, that new deal that they just released, leads me to believe that that is what they're eyeing. That is their target date, so at least for, for Disneyland. Normally, Disneyland and Disney World, they're like brother and sister. They have the same parents, but they kind of go off and do their own things. However, August, the weekend of August the 17th, 17th, 18th, and 19th, is a Star Wars half marathon weekend at Walt Disney World. That is a huge, 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 huge date for Disney. Hey, Laura, glad you're here. Um, that's a huge date for Disney World. So it would make sense from a practical standpoint for both Disneyland and for Walt Disney World to shoot for that weekend of April the 17th to reopen everything. Here's where it gets a little bit tricky. The CDC's guidelines have stated that they recommend eight weeks of social distancing at least of less than 10 people or 10 people or less. So that would put us right around May the 10th, which I believe is Mother's Day. 
So I would say an ideal window of where we can, where we see Disney hoping to open up would be between April the 17th and May the 10th. So now that brings me to another thing. So what about Adventures by Disney? And what about Disney Cruise Line? So Disney Cruise Line has said that they are gonna not have any new sailings until after the date of, I think it was August the 17th as well. Uh, no new sailings until that date. So again, you're looking at the same time frame. So it looks like they're going for more like a four week time frame as opposed to eight weeks is what it seems like a little bit longer than that. I would say that Universal Orlando, if you guys have been watching, you know, who reacts first, it's always Disney World makes the decision first, and then Universal usually follows suit with them. So whatever Disney World does, it's pretty much safe to say that Universal is probably going to do the same thing. Um, so that's what I'm looking at. Now, obviously, these things can change. Uh, I will say that the economic impact on Disneyland, it's estimated that just in the 18 days that Disneyland is going to be closed, this is just a Disneyland resort, uh, Disney is going to lose $400 million in revenue. So that's a lot, that's a lot of money lost. And I, you know what, I applaud Disney for saying that they would continue to pay their cast members. I applaud them for um, donating all their excess food from Walt Disney World and Disneyland to local food banks. I think these are all amazing things that should definitely be uh, celebrated. Um, so that's where we are with, with Disney Cruise Line and Adventures by Disney. Now there's one Disney property that's actually still open. Does any, can anybody guess what that is? Laura, Dustin, you guys want to guess what it is? What are the only Disney Resort property that's actually open right now? I'm going to wait for you guys to respond because you're watching live and there's a delay. Can either one of you guess? All right. So the only Disney Resort property that is still open right now is actual, actually Aulani in Hawaii is actually still open right now as we speak. So we'll have to keep watching that to see if something changes, but they're still open. So that brings me to my next thing, which is, okay, so when are people booking for their vacations right now? And this is what I really want everybody to understand. If you are thinking, even a little bit, about going on a Disney World or Disneyland or Disney Cruise in the summer or in the fall, today, <laughs> because all of our clients that have have modified their reservations because of the coronavirus are all changing their vacation dates to either the summer or the fall. And that means that occupancy is going to be very, very I, I would expect it to be very difficult to book a last minute trip this year if you wait because Disney World alone has 17 million visitors in a year, 17 million. So you're looking at more than a million guests in a month's time, which means you're looking at more than 500,000 guests in a two weeks time period. So just think about all the guests that are impacted that are now rebooking for fall and for the summer that that weren't planning on going during that time already. So if that is something that your family is thinking about, do not wait. <laughs> um, because I just, I don't know what that availability is going to look like. And I have a feeling it, it could be very, very scarce. Um, yes, Laura, you're also right. The, the Dolphin is also open. However, that is a Marriott owned property and not a Disney owned property, but you are correct. That is still open. Um, so let's talk about something fun. Yes. Can we talk about all the cool things that just opened 
and will be opened come this this summer and this fall that we are so excited about. I am so excited to talk about this stuff. I cannot wait to talk about this stuff. Okay, so first of all, Disneyland, they just opened the Magic Happens Here Parade, a brand new parade, beautiful floats. You have a, a great, 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 great um, parade unit, I guess is what you call it, a unit for Aurora from Sleeping Beauty. You have amazing dancing. They're like doing all this like hip hop, like like dancing, stuff like that. Um, like really amazing dancing. They have the sword and the stone in the parade, which is, has not been in a parade forever. You have Coco's in the parade. Of course, you have Moana's in the parade as well. So that magic happens here parade is amazing. I've seen video of it. I am I was supposed to be at Disneyland right now. Um, so, and I was gonna video it, put it on YouTube, and we're just gonna have to, we're gonna have to do that later now, but that's okay. So magic happens here, I'm really excited about that. Um, very excited about the Harmony Us fireworks show at Epcot. So that's opening this summer, brand new fireworks spectacular at Epcot, going to be amazing. If you guys have seen the interim show, the interim show, I, I love, I think it's so good. I like the kites. Some people are hating on the kites. I love the kites. I think they're really cool, especially with the sparklers, but that's coming. And of course, for those of you who don't know my background, I used to be a clown with Ridley Brothers Circus. So I have friends and Cirque du Soleil and different touring units and stuff like that. Circus is a very small world. And one of the clowns that I, that I performed with my first year on Ridley Brothers is one of the characters and the New Disney Spring Show drawn to life by Cirque du Soleil. That was supposed to premiere in March, which obviously got pushed back because of the coronavirus. So I'm really excited about that opening. That is gonna be huge. That's in Disney Springs. Um, and of course we have Cinderella's Castle is getting so much love. And if you've seen the pictures, you know there's bright big blue on the turrets and there's some pink shading on the actual castle itself. And if you've seen the new reimagining of Sleeping Beauty Castle, oh my gosh, that looks amazing with the brickwork that they did and everything else. So I absolutely can't wait to see what Cinderella's Castle looks like. Ah, oh, so many good things coming. And then last week, just before all this craziness happened, we had Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which opened up and it is a spectacular dark ride. Um, it's so, 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 so good. And um, it, I didn't have any preconceived notions going into it. I just knew it would be really, really cool. Um, I knew it was trackless and I knew they had some new projection technology, but they really did a great job. And I originally was not a huge fan of this style of Mickey and Minnie. It's, it, it's uh, when I first saw the new Mickey shorts, I thought they looked a little bit scary, but it's really grown on me and I love the new ride. I think it's awesome. So I'm excited about that. And last but not least, I'm saving my most exciting thing for last. And everyone on here is going to be so surprised and so shocked because it's not at Disney. <laughs> Sorry, Disney. Uh, but what I'm really, really excited about is the Jason Bourne Stunt Spectacular at Universal Studios in Florida. So you guys see the Born Identity, wait, there, the Born Identity poster behind me. I love Jason Bourne series. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite series. I also love The Mummy, which you can see that's, I can't do this backwards thing. The Mummy over there. Um, that's one of my favorite roller coaster rides. But I'm really, really, really excited. Hi, Sashi. Um, really really excited about the jason bourne sun spectacular it's going in the old uh, terminator 2 show and good morning america actually did a segment on it so you can find that and they're using projection technology like a, a big video screen behind with live stunt performers and it's it's going to be amazing they actually had the original stunt coordinator from the bourne movies actually came in and worked with them on choreography choreography creating the choreography the stunt choreography for the show so i i'm so excited about that that was supposed to open in march too um so it'll be open whenever the parks open up as well so excited excited um all right so 
let's see. We talked about when we expect them to open. We talked about why you need a book right now because everybody's modifying and changing their their bookings and reservations to that time. And we talked about all the amazing things that are coming. So now is the perfect time to book your vacation. You and I both know your family is going to want to get out of that house after your social, I wanted to say social experiment, but that is not the right terminology. Social isolation. You are want to get out of that house. So this is a great time to plan a vacation so that you are ready to go. I hope everyone is staying safe out there. I hope you got your toilet paper. People are acting crazy over toilet paper. And now we all know what Rapunzel feels like stuck up out in her tower all day. So I recommend you doing some of the same things that Rapunzel does. You can sing to yourself. You can paint with your toes in your hands. You can cook. Um, <clears throat> what else did Rapunzel do in our tower? Sing. Uh, I don't recommend painting on the walls unless you have like a, a specific spot to paint on the walls, but she did that too. Anyway, love to everybody out there. Me and the genies would absolutely love to plan your family's vacation. We will save you time. We will save you stress. We will help you save money. The bookings that we've been modifying and changing for new travel dates have been saving our clients money as well, which is amazing, like hundreds of dollars. So we do that for you too. And of course we have firsthand knowledge. We've been to these places. We know these better than anybody else. So I hope everyone has a wonderful night tonight and get excited about all the amazing things coming to Disney parks and to Universal parks. And of course, Disney Cruise Line too. Have a safe night, everybody.